If you run an editorial operation, chances are you work with external contributors, vital partnerships that can nonetheless complicate your production pipeline. That's because most content management systems don't have an easy way to incorporate freelancers into their workflow, forcing editors to rely on a messy mix of emails, shared docs, and copy and paste solutions. Superdesk takes the pain out of the freelancer problem. I'm Greg from SourceFabric. And in this video, I'll show you how to leave the inefficiencies behind as you streamline your collaboration with external contributors. In Superdesk, there are two ways to improve your engagement with contributors. The first is to give writers outside your organization restricted user privileges in the editorial backend, an option that is perfect for people you trust and frequently work with. To employ this method, we need to set up a new user role, which we will label Freelancer. To do this, go to the User Roles tab under the Settings button via the main hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner of the Superdesk workspace. Click the Add New button and name this new role. We don't want this role set as default, so we will leave that box unchecked. In this demo, we're onboarding content creators, so we'll select Writer for both the content creation and content editing permissions. Once the new role is saved, we need to edit the default role privileges. We want this person to be able to log in and create a new piece of content, but that's about it. We do not want to give our new freelancer the ability to delete content, update items, or publish. So in this example, we will only enable the create content privilege. Next, we want to create a new user. Return to the main menu and select user management. To create a new user, click the Create User button in the top right corner of the screen. Fill in the required fields, and be sure to select the Freelancer role from the Role drop-down menu. Our newly created freelancer will be able to access Superdesk using the single sign-on feature, just like any other user of your instance. The difference is that they will only be permitted to create content. With this setup complete, your trusted freelancer can now access Superdesk in a limited way working directly in the system to create and save their assignments. Now, let's say you have freelancers in your network that write infrequently, and you don't want to set up a Superdesk user profile for all of them. In this case, the best solution is a new ingest feed that will pull content directly into Superdesk from a dedicated email address. All your freelancers have to do is send their stories and photos to the email address you designate, and Superdesk will do the rest. To set this up, the first thing you need to do is create an email account for content filing. This should not be your personal email account. When the ingest feed is turned on, everything that arrives to the account's inbox will be ingested into Superdesk. For this demo, I've set up a test Gmail account using our Google Suite. Next, we need to tell Superdesk to ingest content from this source by creating a new ingest feed. The ingest dashboard is found in the Content Flow section of the Settings tab, which can be accessed via the main hamburger menu. To create a new feed, click Add New. Set the feed to active and give the feed a name. We will use freelancer email for both the provider and the source name. Under feeding service, choose Gmail. We now need to select the article types Superdesk will ingest. Because this email address will be used by freelancers contributing stories and photos, I'll select text and picture. Tell Superdesk how often to search for new content. For our demo, I'll select one minute for the update every field. The notification option is a feature that tells Superdesk to generate an alert email if no new content is detected after a certain amount of time. Organizations with large volumes of external content that are filed with high frequency should select a shorter time frame for notification. In our case, we will select 24 hours. We want to keep this feed clean, so I will set content to expire every two days. And we want ingested items to be removed from the system after we publish, so I'll turn this toggle on. Don't forget, the ingested items will also be saved in your email. Finally, we need to connect our new Gmail account to this ingest feed. To do that, simply click the Login with Gmail button, choose your account, enter your password, and hit Save. Let's test our new email ingest to see how it works. Here's a story we recently wrote for the Superdesk blog. I'll attach a photo for the story as well, and then hit Send. To ensure everything is working properly, let's take a look at our Superdesk instance to see if the story has appeared. And there it is, the story, the photo, and the two items combined into a single file, all ready for processing. From here, you can update the metadata, add comments, tweak the headline, and send the piece off to an editor for editing. 
It's really that easy to incorporate freelancers into your Superdesk workflow. For more tutorials on how to improve the efficiency of your news and editorial operation, check out SourceFabric's YouTube page or visit superdesk.org. I'm Greg from SourceFabric. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.